the first station. Jesus is condemned to death. Look at the man sitting. He is Pontius Pilate. He is the Roman governor and the most powerful man in Judea. Angry people have told lies about Jesus, and they want Pilate to kill him. Pilate knows Jesus is an innocent man. He knows he should not be killed. But Pilate is afraid. He wants the angry people to like him, to be his friends, or he might lose his job. So he tells them, go ahead and kill Jesus. Step up close to Jesus. See how hard and fast he is breathing. He is afraid. He could stop these men if he wanted, because he is the Son of God. But then he would make up for our sins. So Jesus is going to let it happen, because he loves us. He wants to save us and win heaven for us. Still, he's afraid. Put your hand in Jesus's. Let him know you care. Now, take out your cross necklace. Carry your cross as Jesus carried his. He helped us by forgiving our sins. We should forgive others as Jesus forgave us. Dear Jesus, please make me brave so I can do what is right, even when it is hard to do. Don't let me be afraid to stand up for something when others are telling lies about that person. Help me to, to not put luxury, success, and popularity, or my own opinions, above what is right. Now take out the heart. This heart signifies the act of kindness. As you see in the station, people are not being kind to Jesus. This heart will remind you to be kind to everyone. The color red symbolizes charity. The color pink symbolizes the love that we have for God. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Look at the quiet way Jesus does what they tell him. He does not fight when the men who push him with the men who push him. He does not hate them and say rough words to them. If they had known he was dying for them and for all of us, they would have acted differently. So Jesus forgives them. He thinks only of how he loves them and us. Then he takes up his cross. But in his heart, he asks his heavenly father to help him carry it bravely. Step up close to Jesus. See what a hard time he has getting the cross onto his shoulders. It is clumsy and heavy. His shoulders are already sore because they have been whipped. There are thorns around his head too. Sometimes the cross hits these thorns. They go into Jesus' head like sharp nails. Take out your cross necklace. Carry your cross as Jesus carried his. He helped us by forgiving our sins. We should forgive others as Jesus forgave us. Dear Jesus, when something is hard for me to do, help me to remember how you took the cross without fussing about it. Help me to be good and kind to others, even when it is not easy. Help me to control the anger in my life. Help me to take responsibility for both the good and bad things that happen to me. Now take out your cross and remember to always have courage like Simon did when he helped Jesus. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. Look at how Jesus is stumbling along, struggling to stand. The cross is crushing his shoulders and the sharp stones on the road cut his bare feet. All around him, people are shouting and pushing. And the Roman soldiers, who have been ordered to crucify him, want him to hurry. Jesus tries as hard as he can to move faster, but he stumbles and falls. Step up close to Jesus. See him trying to get up. He wants to keep carrying his cross. Everybody around him is yelling and poking at him. But Jesus does not get angry. He offers all of his hurting to his Heavenly Father for us because he loves us. Then he pulls himself to his feet and walks forward. Think that you put your arms around him and help him. Dear Jesus, if someone hurts me today, remind me to offer my hurt to God. Do not let me to be mean or to anyone who hurts me or who makes mistakes or to anyone who is different from me. Help me to love others as you loved us. Now take out your paper hand. This represents the people who helped Jesus up when he fell. This can remind us that we always have a helping hand from God when we fall down, whether it is mentally or physically. We also have to give others a helping hand like God gave us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Look at the lady reaching out to Jesus from the crowd. She is his mother, Mary. She comes close and her face is full of tears. Tears are on Jesus' cheek too. You can tell how much they love each other. Look at Jesus and see his son who honors and respects his mother out of the great love he has for her. Jesus 
performed his first miracle because his mother expressed concern for the shortage of wine at a wedding. Although this man is the son of God and needs nothing, he still follows the father's command to honor his mother. But Mary is not allowed to stay close to Jesus, to say kind and loving words to him. They make her go away. Step up close to Jesus. He feels so sad to have his mother see him all bruised and beaten. He knows it makes her unhappy, but she is brave like him. She knows that Jesus chose to carry the cross. And if that's what God planned for Jesus, she wants Jesus to do it. They are both willing to do what God wants them because they know it is always right. Dear Jesus, when I have to be away from someone I love, help me to offer my lonely feelings to you. Help me to do what God wants me to do today. Help me to respect those in authority and help me to always do what is good and just. Now take out your business card. On the business card, it shows that your mom is always there for you, just like Mary was when Jesus was being crucified. No matter what situation you're in, your mom will always be there. The fish station. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. Look at the man helping Jesus carry the cross. This is Simon of Cyrene. He was on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem for the Passover feast when he was stopped and told to carry Jesus' cross. At first, Simon did not like having to help Jesus. He thinks, why must I help this man? Who is he that this crowd so hates? He has these doubts and questions because Simon did not know Jesus. But later, when he found out who Jesus was, he was proud that he had helped carry the cross. Step up close to Jesus. See how Simon is trying to get hold of the cross and carry it for him. Simon is strong, but the cross is heavy, yet not too heavy. Jesus never asks us to do some things we cannot do. Sometimes, when we have hard things to do, it is Jesus asking you to carry the cross, as he asked Simon. Try to think then, Jesus is making you strong. Dear Jesus, make me strong when I have to do something hard, when I don't like to do something. Do not let me push it off on someone else. I don't really want to be singled out, but one look at Simon shows me the importance of helping my brothers and sisters. Help me to be willing and joyful when I help others. Now take out your cross and remember to always have courage like Simon did when he helped Jesus. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Jesus picks back up his cross. Look at the woman standing before Jesus. We call her Veronica, a poor Jewish woman who sees love in this man's face. She has pushed her way through the crowd to get to Jesus. That was a brave thing to do with all those rough people around to scare her. She does not understand how they could look at his kind, loving face and do these terrible things to him. But she does not think of them. She thinks only of how she wants to give Jesus a handkerchief to wipe his face. When Jesus gives it back to her, there is an image of his face on the handkerchief. It was Jesus' way of thanking her. Step up close to Jesus. Think of how if men can be proud because Simon helped Jesus, females can be proud because Veronica helped Jesus too. It does not matter who we are. What is important to God is what is in our hearts. If our hearts are good and kind, that is the best and most important thing. Dear Jesus, let me be thankful to people who help me when I need help. Help me to do kind things for other people even if I don't get any reward. Jesus, you based your words and actions on charity and the greater good of others. Help me to be gracious and generous. Now take out the cloth and think of how Veronica overcame the crowd and soldiers and cared for Jesus with the cloth. Think of the blood and dirt on Jesus' face and how Veronica helped Jesus in a time of sadness. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Look at how hard it is for Jesus to walk. He feels weak and shaky. He has had nothing to eat or drink, and he hurts all over. But the, shoulder, but the soldiers won't let him stop and rest. They keep pushing at him to walk faster. He tries, but again, he falls down in the dirty street, and the heavy wooden cross falls on top of him. Step up close to Jesus. Stoop down to where he has fallen in the street. He's out of breath and very tired. It would help if he could just lie there a minute, but he gets up and tries walking again. You were not there when all this happened, but remember, what you do or say 
to Jesus now counts as if you had been there. Dear Jesus, when I try to do something and mess it up, help me to start over again as you did. If somebody falls down or gets hurt, let me feel for them and help them if I can. Now take out your paper muscle. Jesus had a strong faith in God, and he was strong to keep getting back up even when he fell. He never gave up, and neither should you. Jesus walks down the road while the women of Jerusalem are standing at the corner of the street. When Jesus draws near, they fall to their knees by Jesus, sobbing and weeping for him. They feel sorry for him and say loving words to him. They are weeping because they have been touched by the immense love and compassion of Jesus. He has never given them worldly goods, but he offers his love, his mercy, his hope, and now his life. He tenderly, slowly, and painfully reaches out to them. Jesus reaches out now, in, even in his pain. To them, he doesn't think of himself, but stops to comfort them. He tells them that he will feel better if he knows they will always be kind and gentle toward everyone. For love of him, and if they will teach their children to do the same. They are good women. They will do what Jesus asks. Step up close to Jesus. Listen when he talks to these women. It is hard to behave well when you're sick or feeling bad. It takes much courage to do to be unselfish like that. But Jesus does not think of himself. He thinks only of being kind to these women. Dear Jesus, teach me how to catch others' tears like you catch ours. Help me to think beyond my possessions and to think about things that bring joy, comfort, and happiness to others. Now take out your bag of tears. And remember that we need to catch the tears of others just like Jesus did for the woman. Help us to comfort everyone we meet. Help us to remember how Jesus was there to wipe the woman's tears and that we will always be with us to catch ours. Look at Jesus now. He's walking slower and slower. He's been nearly beaten to death and has fallen twice already. The soldiers wish he would hurry. They are afraid that all the excited people watching Jesus and yelling at him may cause a riot. Jesus is packed in so close that he can hardly breathe. He takes several more steps and then falls down on the dirty street. The guard points to Simon in the crowd and tells him to take Jesus' cross. The guard then tells Jesus to get up. He painfully gets back up and keeps going. Step up close to Jesus. He is flat on the ground. It is very hard for Jesus to move. He gets on his knees and pushes himself up again. He knows he is to go on. Jesus does not like all this pain. He would like to get rid of it, but he can't stop now if he wants to do what would help us. He started this way of the cross for God and for us, and he wants to finish it. Dear Jesus, help us to remember how sometimes we will fall and get dirty, but we have to remember to get back up and keep going even when you get hurt. Now take out the soil and remember how Jesus fell down and got dirty, but still got back up and kept going. Look at Jesus. He is outside the city of Jerusalem now and standing on a hill called Golgotha. The soldiers are going to crucify him here. One of them is pulling off Jesus' clothes. The clothes are sticking to him, and they take a spear to Jesus' sore back. It hurts when they are pulled off his back. Step up close to Jesus. He is standing there without his clothes. He is like a wrestler or boxer who takes off his ordinary clothes so he can fight better. Jesus is also getting ready for a fight. He is fighting against death and sin. He wants to win the fight. He wants to make it possible for all of us to have a life that lasts forever in heaven. We are on Jesus' side and want him to win. Dear Jesus, getting your clothes taken away reminds us how we need to take away all things negative and replace it with all things positive. You suffered and died on the cross to save us, so we need to remember that we should be pos positive to others. Now take out the cloth. This reminds us how Jesus was stripped of his clothing and how we need to take away all things negative in our lives and replace it with all things positive. Look at Jesus. He has been laid flat down on the cross. 
One soldier takes bites and hammers them through Jesus' hands, while the other one ties ropes across his arms. So now, the soldier fixed the cross into a hole so it will stand straight. Step up close to Jesus. He hurts all over. His head aches. He is thirsty. But in his heart, he is not sad like the people. He knows that what he chose to do was the right thing. Now he looks down at the men who nailed him to the cross, and he forgives them. Then he tells Mary to be the mother to all of us and to count us as her children. He keeps thinking of others even when he is dying. Dear Jesus, help us to remember that when someone is hurtful toward us, to be forgiving to everyone and to not hold a grudge. Now take out your flowers and pull a petal off for every grudge you're holding. This reminds us how even though Jesus was hurt by these soldiers, he still forgave them. Look at Jesus hanging on the cross. He has been there for three hours. He hurts all over. He is so thirsty, but nobody brings any water. Jesus does not complain. He prays to his heavenly Father and tells him that he has finished what he has come to do. He bows his head and dies. A soldier runs a spear into Jesus' side. Blood and water come out, a sign that Jesus gave up everything. Many will wish that they would have met him sooner, so that they could have lived their lives with him. He is dead on the cross. He suffered all this because he wanted to put down death and found a way to give life. He has met death and won the fight with it but it does not look that way. He hangs there so still as if death has him for good, but it doesn't. Jesus once said he was life. He told everybody that if they would wait three days after his death, he would show them that life had won the fight over death. Dear Jesus, your number one sacrifice reminds us how we should make small sacrifices every day and remember that you died on the cross to save us. Now take out your cross and remember how Jesus sacrificed himself and died on the cross to save us. Look at Jesus. Jesus is dead. He is being taken down from the cross and all the dirt and blood is washed away. His crown of thorns is taken off his head. He is in a heap in his mother's lap. His mother embraces him and says his name over and over again. Her heart is broken but she does not give up or cry because she knows to wait three days. Step up close to Jesus. All his enemies are gone now, so those who love him can come near him and stay with his mother. If you would have been there, you would have done the same, and you would have been proud of Mary being so brave. You would not have cried either, even though your heart would hurt for Jesus. You would be thinking about the third day. Dear Jesus, Help us to remember that no matter what, there will always be people in your life who care for you and will help you through whatever you are going through. Now take out your paper hearts. These symbolize how much everybody loved Jesus and how there will always be someone that loves you. Jesus' friends carried him to his tomb. There they laid him and put him in clean, white clothes. They placed him in a cave-like tomb. They sprinkled him with perfume. People began to crowd and watch. After he was placed in the tomb, several men rolled a giant rock over, blocking the entrance. Step up close to Jesus. You cannot see Jesus because he is still inside the tomb. It is Saturday, the next day. Pontius Pilate, the judge who let Jesus be killed, sent soldiers to the tomb so that nobody would steal the body of Jesus. 
The soldiers sit by the tomb all day and all night. Imagine that you also sit there and that you watch, pray, and remember the promise of the third day. Dear Jesus, help us remember that death is imminent in all our lives. After death, we are sent to heaven to live in peace with Jesus. Now pull out your spear and recognize its power. Notice how it can harm, but it can also protect. Let God be your protection and guide.